What do we have? Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is that? Gastropod? Horn coral? What is this? I have no idea to be honest. It looks freaking awesome, but this one will be will need some prepping. Yeah, so I will <laughs> go and put it into the car right now. A few months ago, I was on a fossil hunting with Tomek and we found this rock and there is a mystery fossil inside. And I literally have no idea what it is, but I only hope that this is not a horn coral. And today we're gonna use a Dremel engraver with Paleozoic bit to prep it a little bit to uncover what, what kind of fossil this is. Hopefully this will be a successful prep and the only thing I hope it's not gonna be is a sticky fossil. I don't want it to be sticky fossil. Sticky fossils are crazy problematic to prep. And yeah, so let's start. Okay, I think that's about it from what I can do. And uh, now I will smooth in these uh, scratches from the side so it will be a little bit more aesthetic as a piece with a Dremel rotator tool with this one. So yeah, let's do that.
and I think I'm almost done and I will put the Polaroid B72 on it on the top for the better preservation in the future. I'm not sure if it's needed but I will do it still. <laughs> And I literally have no idea what it is, but I only hope that this is not a horn coral. Yeah, it is just a horn coral after all, but it's my biggest horn coral in a collection at the moment. And it has amazing patterns and color, crazy well preserved. And it did fossilize in quartz inside. I know that by a bit of damage I did on the top. If I would have a sandblaster, this damage could be avoided. But you know, paleontologists believe in a saying, you will always damage the fossil, but with experience you will damage it less. So I hope I did gain some experience while prepping this one, and the future fossils I will damage less. And I'm also planning to acquire the sandblaster to help with that. So yeah, just a Yorgosa, which makes sense, because these were high in population 450 million years ago and there were less diversity in living organism overall. And this is it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!